And Aaron Hayes is here, probably thinking, hey, oh, no, hey, what am I walking into? Oh, no. I don't want to talk about no. Mike Pence. I want to talk about my show. Oh, no. What wanna, am I walking in? I want to talk about Kevin Can no. Wait. I just want to talk about television. Let's welcome yeah. from Kevin Can Wait, Aaron Hayes. Hello, Aaron. Hi. How are you? Hi, guys. Aaron, Aaron. Is, it, is it weird that uh, when people are on the show, I size them up like, hey, I would have went to high school with you probably. We're, we're the same age. We would have graduated together. We could have been friends. Who knows? We could have been. She's probably like, not. No. She's I like, feel she's, like I'm older than you. She's like, no. You know, no, baby even with face. this terrible, yeah, you know what? Uh, I don't want to oh. say because Rich says I justify. Yeah, what you I was do. gonna say, even with this terrible beard, you still think I look young, huh? Are you? I'll take that. I'm sorry. Terrible Hold beard. on. Yeah. Are you mad that you look young? I feel like the beard makes me look like a baby face with like hair on it. I feel it looks terrible. It's, it's like so a weird. terrible, so terrible insecure. look. Hey, yeah. listen, we have, we have to break. We're gonna come back and, and get to know Aaron Hayes, but real quick before we wrap this up. The ha- do you see the Hamilton thing? Do you yes, think- I did. I we have a dis- difference of opinion. I think you there do. is no better time or place. For no this- better time or place. They went to their. He went to their house. And 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 he didn't say anything disrespectful. Oh no, he made he- a statement. No, and you know what? I actually think it was very responsible because the audience booed, and then they came out and said, "Hey, there's nothing to boo here." And here's just a request. I agree for- with the message, right? But yeah. think about what you just said, and I agree with that. In a way, you're in our house right now. So don't you think it's rude if I started? You know, coming at you with weird things. Like, it's just, it feels awkward. Maybe they didn't do anything wrong. I'm with you. They didn't do anything wrong and they handled it the best way that they could. I just feel so awkward for the scenario. Like, I... you don't go to someone's house to get I... called yeah, out. But, yeah, but, no, but a guy, but a guy that thinks you could, a, a guy that thinks you could pray the gay away goes to Hell's Kitchen I, I, and, okay, and Midtown Manhattan fine. and goes, and go, and goes such... to a play and, th- and thinks, oh, that's like, come And on. just very quickly, there's such a difference because if I were responsible for creating legislation <laughs> right. about your life, yeah. then yeah, 100%. If I come to your house, call me out on everything that if I, yeah if, if, if i went to uh yeah if, if, if uh yeah what she just said if i'm making choices <laughs> if i'm making choices about your body oh yeah that, and you have an true. opinion about it please if she, if she made the legislature against job, against uh half italian half uh, mexican guidos you you'd have something to say but it's a one-sided <laughs> thing like spot said like stevie van zandt oh, said he's got- and i and i i do agree with the message and i agree with everything i gotta make that clear because yeah. we're just meeting do, for the first time pence has no platform to speak he does it in that moment. He's sort of defenseless. Nah, yeah, 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 but when you're, you're, public, you're, the, you're number two. You're the number two public servant in the world. You're, 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 you you're the vice president. To you're going to be the vice so president. He had, he had the opportunity. He seized oh. the moment. You know, we'll take some feedback on it, but okay. we do want to get to know Aaron a little bit. Yeah, Kevin oh, can gosh, wait. Guys, what's my favorite color? Kevin <laughs> can wait. Is a, it's listen? It's it's uh it's part of the the one of the new successful shows of the fall season. Well, hold, yeah. uh, hold tell us so I can cross it off my question list. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> the truth is, I don't know. I don't uh, yeah. know the you don't? Okay. All right. So now we're going to get to know her a little bit. And uh, we got more. Cavino and Rich next. Cavino and Rich doing it live from LA. Serious XM. So good. And Erin Hayes requests. She's here on the show. Cavino and Rich, a new tribe, a new uh, tribe called Quest. Yeah. So hard to say, pain in the ass. I do want to wrap up this whole Hamilton Pence thing. Yeah. You know, I was. In the bathroom, and I had an epiphany. I was thinking clearly, and something Aaron said resonated with me. Like, this guy's life depends on it. So he had that opportunity. So there's a part of me that's not really being empathetic to that. And I put myself in that scenario, and I say, well, if my life was depending on the choices this asshole's making, and I have that one opportunity, or someone close to me, why would you not? Then I might do it. But my first initial reaction, because I'm not thinking in his shoes, is like, mm-hmm. why would you do that? Because I, me personally, am a believer of when you're off the clock, you're kind of off the clock. But you're saying that guy's never off the clock. You're saying he's never off the, off the clock, which, OK, that you could debate that mm-hmm. and you're right about that. But, you know, if I had that opportunity, my life depended on it, then, yeah, yeah. you're, you're probably, you know what I mean? Like, I get where you're coming from when you say that, because how do you not take that opportunity in that moment? Uh, yeah. So, uh, look, we'll take your feedback on it, but we I want to get to know Aaron. with the Eminem song. <laughs> <laughs> Eminem. Eminem uh, Aaron Hayes yep. is here, and uh, she is on Kevin Can Wait, opposite Kevin James, a tribe called Quest fan, represent, represent, Zen. You know, yeah, they. I was telling you, they. I feel like they dropped an album when the country needed it the most. Oh, so good. Yeah. I really like that. So I've, I've been watching Kevin Can Wait, and I'd, I'd, only, I'd only imagine that... Uh, we actually brought you up recently before we knew you were going to be on the show. We said this Aaron Hayes, she's she's talented and she's super attractive. Another Kevin Thank James you. cast. Do you, you guys ever joke about that with Kevin James about how in his movies and TV shows? I know Amy Schumer pointed out on one of her stand up yeah. specials that, that um, in, I'm sure in he was re- thrilled about that. It, it, does he get a kick out of that or is that like the fact that he cast women? Uh, all his female co-hosts are beautiful women. 
I don't know. I, it's not something I like to give a whole lot of credence to because I think it um, detracts from your comedy chops, my comedy chops or from it, from him. Like, yeah. like to say like because the basis of the argument is. He's unattractive, like, or he shouldn't get, you know, like, gotcha. wh- why not? I like why Kevin not? James. I'm a hey. Mets fan. I'm a Long Island guy. It's television. I like Kevin James. Yeah, he's great. And it's television and you can create whatever reality you you want. So. I guess so. But the, but in, in the show, the one thing to to credit you, I can't like you. They make it seem like you. How could you have kids though that age? Well, you look amazing. Hey, thanks. I just use expensive products. Um, Sephora no. <laughs> and my, my Sephora. She's like that's garbage. Yeah. Well, you, you have that. you have um, two daughters, right? I do. I have two daughters. Uh, how, who are how seven old are they? are seven and nine. I mean, we're putting it out yeah. there on the show that we've been together like since we were eighteen years old. I mean, gotcha. I could like technically, I could have that. Which, girl. by she the way, sounds crazy. But here uh, on this little research we got, you're married to your high school sweetheart. I've been with my husband that's, since high school. So, it, what, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What, what's that like? As Mike it's Tyson great. said to us, what is what's that, that like? like? Because we, that? we've all had our high school romances yeah. and, and I'm sure we've all thought about like, man, yeah, I wonder what that would be we like. Together, so we would have been together 20 something years, yeah. if not more at this point. Yeah, we had our first date 22 years ago. Um, It's great. I, I mean, knowing somebody so holy and being so comfortable with someone and still so excited about right. who they are and he makes me laugh every day and we're a really good team. I mean, yeah, but we, we, we were not together. We were not together throughout my college. Like we were together and then we were not together for college. Do you not talk about the college days? Are huh? those like the void in your little well, timeline? Like, <laughs> like they'll be like, you know. No, he he doesn't know. Like he'll be like, "Is when you had that boyfriend," or I'll be like, "Oh, when I was in Europe." This he goes with your boyfriend. Ah, you know I'm like, that's <laughs> funny. Well, that was uh, you went to Colorado too, right? Yeah. So, so it was, you had a Colorado, Colorado. You had a whole different Colorado boyfriend in I life. Did. I did. Right? I had a different. You know, listen, it was college. You do those. But things. you needed that probably to totally. recognize and realize. Well, a to find yourself, yeah. but then to realize that he was oh. the guy. Yeah, we, there is that thing when you then go. Uh, that's how we knew we were like, oh, this isn't done. This is this is far from that's done. That's so amazing. When, though, when really you, uh, we were ta- we talked about this last week on the show. We had one of our listeners hit us up saying, should he get rid of old photos and memories of exes? No do you still way. have Colorado? Ah! Do you have Colorado stuff in a bin somewhere in like the attic or something, or, or is that chapter like erased? Is that bad that I don't even know? Oh. I've got some. No, I have some pictures. It just means you I have, have some a lot pictures of, cool of, stuff. My, of some boyfriends. <laughs> I had like two serious boyfriends in college, and what if I hubby said, "Hey, get rid yeah. of those. What yeah. if the daughters find them?" <laughs> You wouldn't get rid of him, right? I'll say, that was mommy's boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I remember finding pictures of my mom, like random guys when she was younger. Like, Who's this guy? Yeah. Could have been, right? been your dad. That's what my dad said. <laughs> it could have been your father. I'm like, this it guy? M- or it might be <laughs> your dad. <laughs> oh, that's not funny. sure. Aaron, uh, let me ask you. Kevin yeah. Kuwait on CBS. Yeah. It's doing great. It just got picked up for a full season, which in network yeah. is a fucking accomplishment because oh my God. people bail on things so quick. And that's one of our, we, we talk about this. It's, it's one of our big problems with network TV because it's so hard to want to get invested. Because you, you don't, don't know, know when things gonna are going to be gone. And yeah. then you start loving these characters. You love the show. And then all of a sudden, before you know, they're like, it's gone. And you're yeah. Like, oh. So no. And I've done I am. A, I'm very, you know, I've been very fortunate in mm-hmm. that I've had a number of experiences on network television, uh, but I've never had a full season. Right. On network. Te- so this feels like, you know, which is I, a I, shame like, in a way, because here you're saying you know, you're talented enough to have all these great opportunities. But for things never, to last more than a year just seems absurd. Yeah. But you know what? Now that it's happened, I'm mm-hmm. so I feel so incredibly lucky. And yeah. I'm like, I know that it is so rare. So I am appreciating it and I'm enjoying it. And I'm like, I'll ride this out. You're not new to this by any means, but what's it feel like? Like the show debuted to 11, uh, 11 million viewers. Over yeah. 11 million views. It's got like, big numbers. Does that, does that frighten you when you think about it? Like, we pretend no one's listening, and, and no one probably is listening. <laughs> but to think that, oh my God, over 11 million people are watching me, does that just kind of freak you out sometimes when you really think about it? Um, I guess maybe I don't really think about it. You don't, it, right? I'm just, just excited that that many people are watching it, because I'm proud of the show, and I think it's funny. And, um, and uh, honestly, I've never done anything that, like, my nieces and nephews can watch, and my kids can watch. Right. And it's very like traditional family sitcom. And there's something that's very exciting to me about that 
right now Mm -hmm. um i've done a lot of like more like street cred kind of comedy and i love that as well i want to do everything and and new circles have opened up as a result right a lot of his friends now i was gonna say he's he's pulling out all the stops obviously to make sure the show keeps going so is it fun when you get to you know hanging me with the adam sandlers and isn't billy joel in an episode coming up yeah he is but they went to his concert so i never i didn't oh oh, i was Um, gonna say that and uh was it recently? I watched an episode with Noah Syndergaard on the Mets. Yeah, Noah Syndergaard came on, and Ray Romano, and um, and Adam Sandler came on. Yeah. So yeah, we had a, a lot like, of. Are you a Sandler fan? For example, when they come on, how do you carry well, yourself in those scenarios? Well, off like the I just, you just have to go. Like he's a look at here's a human being getting, you know, getting his hair done like I am. Here's a yeah. human being trying to memorize his lines like I am. So you try to play it cool, but then like, you know, Happy Gilmore is. Really important to me. <laughs> it's an you. important movie to me. Right, right, right. Yeah. So you kind great. of gotta be like, all right. That's so cool, man. No, we're yeah. really happy for you. Yeah, we are absolutely happy. We'd love to have you Thanks. come back sometime. We're running yeah. out of time. We got to break it. We, we show's over in like thirty seconds. But Kevin, our, our can, show, not your show. Yeah, your, oh, show, God, your, show, not, your show's renewed for a whole <laughs> season here. Oh, um, Kevin can wait Monday nights on CBS. Um, really appreciate you being here. So yeah. Much. Thanks for having me, you guys. And I'm, I'm glad you got to uh, teach Kavino about Pence. Hayes, and- lady. I, I see it differently. I still feel what I said, okay. but I see it differently. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, arrivederci, baby. See you in the promised land. All right, later.